So there are of order 50,000 proteins that are expressed or made in the cell. And we still, despite many years of substantial study, we understand what fewer than half of those proteins do. And for even the uh, half that we understand functions of, we now are starting to recognize that each of those proteins has many roles it plays, and we don't understand many of the other roles. When we study the roles of proteins in the cell, we use assays or tests that reveal their functions. And many of those tests require labels. There's a fluorescent signal that's generated when the protein is present and active. And the limitation of using labels is that you only identify proteins whose functions you already understand or know. A big interest of ours has been in developing assays that can identify an unanticipated function. And we do that with a form of uh, mass spectrometry where we can see all of the activities that are present in a sample, that is, all of the activities that the protein performs, without having to know in advance what those activities are. The strategy we use for identifying new protein functions is to create an array, a plate, that's decorated with spots where each spot carries or is loaded with a different protein. And then we take our protein of interest, whose functions we're trying to understand, and we apply that protein to every one of the spots. We then rinse the plate off and we insert it in the mass spectrometer. And the mass spectrometer looks at the masses and identifies those spots that have been changed by the protein. And that's where we get an understanding of what functions the protein uh, carries out. The increase in throughput we have in our ability to run experiments is staggering. Uh, before the SAMD method, and even in many laboratories today, if a student runs 100 assays in a day, that's considered a good day. With SAMD, we can now routinely run 50,000, even 100,000 assays in a day per researcher. And so this increase means we discover protein functions more rapidly. And that's, those are the discoveries that drive science.